hook Velcro attachment. On extended bar C in the front of the left wall frame, apply hook Velcro on the back face of the bar or the side facing the back edge of the simulator. Apply another strip to the outside of the bar facing toward the left edge of the simulator. On extended bar C in the front of the right side frame, apply hook Velcro on the back face of the bar or the side facing the back edge of the simulator. The hook Velcro application on the front extended C-bars should be mirror images. Apply another strip to the outside of the bar facing toward the right edge of the simulator. On extended bar A in the front, work from side to side and apply hook Velcro to the top side of the bar facing the ceiling. Apply another strip to the inside of the bar facing the back edge of the simulator. On bar B, on the top of the left side frame, apply hook Velcro to the top side of the bar facing the ceiling. Apply another strip to the inside of the bar pointing toward the right edge of the simulator. On bar B, on the top of the right side frame, work from side to side and apply hook Velcro to the inside face of the bar pointing toward the left edge of the simulator. Both B bars on the top should mirror each other with the hook Velcro application. Apply another strip of Velcro to the top side of the bar facing the ceiling. On extended bar C in the back of the right side frame, work from top to bottom and apply hook Velcro to the outside edge of extended bar C. Apply another strip of Velcro to the side of the bar facing the back edge of the simulator. On bar B, on the bottom of the right side frame, apply hook Velcro to the top side of the bar facing the ceiling.
On bar B on the bottom of the left side frame, apply hook Velcro to the top side of the bar facing the ceiling. On bar D on the bottom of the left side frame, apply hook Velcro to the outside of the bar facing the left edge of the simulator. On bar D on the top of the left side frame, apply hook Velcro to the outside of the bar facing the left edge of the simulator. On bar D, on the bottom of the right side frame, apply hook Velcro to the outside of the bar facing the right edge of the simulator. On bar D, on the top of the right side frame, apply hook Velcro to the outside of the bar facing the right edge of the simulator. Carpet pads. There are five carpet pads to apply. Two 7 by 57 inch pads, two 7 by 108 inch pads, and one 7 by 141 inch pad. Begin with bar B on the top of the left side frame using a 7 by 57 inch carpet pad. Start on the top face of bar B and align the left edge of the carpet pad to the inside edge of bar B. Wrap the carpet pad downward around the outside of bar B. Pull it tightly so the carpet pad hugs the bar firmly and completely covers bar B. Extended bar C in the front of the left side frame using a 7 by 108 inch carpet pad. Align the left edge of the carpet pad with the left edge of extended bar C. Wrap the carpet pad around the front of extended bar C and attach the other edge on the inside of the bar. Bar B on the top of the right side frame using a 7 by 57 inch carpet pad. Start on the top face of bar B and align the right edge of the carpet pad to the inside edge on top of bar B. Wrap the carpet pad downward around the outside of bar B. Run a hand over the carpet pad to ensure the pad adheres to the hook Velcro on the bar. Extended bar C in the front of the right side frame using a 7 by 108 inch carpet pad. Align the right edge of the carpet pad with the right edge of extended bar C. Wrap the carpet pad around the front of extended bar C and attach the other edge on the inside. Run a hand over the carpet pad to ensure the pad adheres to the hook Velcro on the bar. Extended bar A using a 7 by 141 inch carpet pad. Align the top edge of the carpet pad with the top edge of extended bar A. The carpet pad should be hanging downward.
wrap the carpet pad underneath the bar toward the front of the simulator to completely cover extended bar A. This concludes Phase 3 of the Elite Series assembly process.